What's up? What's going on, Pisces people? I am back and I have a special announcement. The Pisces Guidance Deck is officially back in stock. I know it's been a minute. Y'all were emailing me about this deck, leaving comments, you know, and now I finally have it back in stock. This is my third edition of the Pisces Guidance Deck. I will be using this deck today. Um, so this new deck comes with, you know, a box, everything for you to keep your cards safe and you get the full... Pisces guidance deck. It also comes with a um, guidebook as well, just in case y'all need some clarification on these cards. Okay. These cards are great for anyone who has Pisces anywhere in their chart, uh, uh, along with anyone who's dealing with the Pisces. Okay. So Pisces energy is all up in these cards. So if you're interested in receiving a deck of your own, the link will be in the description box. I think I have two places you can order them from. So I'll leave both the links below. Um, I will be personally shipping them out to you guys. So, uh, no worries there. And if you have purchased an old Pisces guidance deck, all you need to do is shoot me an email with your receipt and I will give you 50% off of this deck. Okay. So if you want a new deck, but you already supported me way back when, when I first dropped this deck, just send me a screenshot of your receipt at my email, PiscesRS312 at gmail.com. And I will give y'all 50% off your new Pisces Guidance deck, okay? So let's start this reading off, y'all. I'm going to, I'll leave this on the side right here. I'm going to start this reading off the Pisces Guidance deck. All right, let's see what the messages are. What's the overall message for Pisces watching at this time? Y'all, this is some paint or something on my desk. I don't know how this got on here. It's like paint. Nail polish. Um, okay. So let's get into it. Let's get an overall message for Pisces watching. God, I'm just reading the words. So overall message for Pisces, all placements watching. Okay. All right, Pisces. Well, we have the lovers card. Oops, sorry. Upside down for y'all. We have the lovers card, card number 13. Okay. So you see these two beautiful mermaid people. All right, they're definitely in love. It looks like it's really giving the Little Mermaid. All right, some of y'all could have just seen the Little Mermaid. We know that's a big movie out right now. Um, could have saw it with your boo, or you're thinking about seeing it with your boo. Um, there's just something very magical about a connection that you're experiencing here. And card number thirteen is giving me this is like a rare occurrence. You know, you know how thirteen is kind of rare. And when, when 13 falls on a Friday, it's like Friday the 13th and it's a special day and it's like weird stuff can happen. So I feel like this connection is pretty weird. There's something like unworldly about the connection that you share with someone with this lover's energy here. Okay. And it seems like you two lighten up each other's life is what I feel because there's so much darkness in this sea around them, but they are just very vibrant, very light, right? So I'm definitely feeling like it's something in regards to a connection that you guys are experiencing or thinking about. And it is mutual, okay? But with the lovers here, there could be some multiple options coming up, all right? So let's see. Let's clarify. What else do Pisces watching need to know at this time? All right, we have the nine of pentacles and the reverse. What else we got? We have the three of pentacles upright. get one more and we got the fool in the reverse okay so pisces let's see let's bring these three down here so i'm feeling like some of you guys are feeling not as independent as you once were okay nine of pentacles in the reverse um you could be experiencing a little bit of money troubles or some such type of shift in your finances all right, but, but with the Three of Pentacles, you guys could be starting new work groups. Um, you could be changing careers, you know, just kind of shifting your path in some way in regards to your work ethic and, you know, how you make your money and your career goals, okay? Something is a bit unstable, all right? And with the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, I, I feel like you were you were used to something being very stable in your life. And now... Something could have happened where it makes you feel a little less independent, 
a little less like you can stand on your own two feet okay but you absolutely can you do have a support system here with the three of pentacles so whether this be a working group of friends or family or whatever it, it's something that's benefiting you pisces okay you're getting you're getting some support whether you know it or not okay so don't be afraid to work with people especially if people are reaching out to you um, this could be in your best interest, okay? Very mutually beneficial, the connections that you may develop in your life moving forward, all right? Um, the Fool in the Reverse, I want to clarify what's the Fool in the Reverse. So we got the Six of Wands, I'm sorry, the Six of Cups here. So the Fool in the Reverse, clarified by the Six of Cups in the Reverse, somebody feels like they missed a start with you, a second chance with you, um, maybe not even a second chance, it's like they didn't even get the first chance, okay? Um, somebody is feeling upset over the past, or this is you, Pisces, just being upset over your past uh, situations that didn't play out for you. You could have been dealing with toxic connections, toxic relationships, toxic family environments. Um, you definitely weren't getting what you deserve out of a situation here. All right. And the fool definitely clarifies that you decided to change your direction. OK, you weren't going to walk out on a ledge for anyone. You weren't going to walk out on a ledge for a situation that you didn't know was going to serve you. OK, so, yeah, if you guys, you know, walked away from a connection because it wasn't working, you were spiritually led to do that. And I feel like there was a lot more bad stuff that happened in the past with this connection than good stuff. Right. So, yeah, I'm just feeling like whatever's in the past, Pisces, it's good that you left it in the past because I just don't think it was really up to par with where you're trying to be, uh, where you're trying to go and who you're trying to be. OK. So what's the advice here for Pisces? What else does Pisces need to know? What does Pisces need to know right now? All right, it may be time to slow down, Pisces, because there are going to be some obstacles coming up for you. You can feel like it's one thing after the next here. We got the Knight of Wands. Yeah, you're going to be rushing, ripping, and running, and very active, okay? These next few weeks or whatever, whenever you're watching this, you're going to be very active. Um, some of y'all could be, like, dodging messages from people. People feel like they have a hard time getting a hold of you. OK, and you could be very attractive as well. Pisces, people could be running towards you because you just ooze excitement. All right. People feel like with you, they're going to have a good time. Um, they're going to feel young. It's going to be unpredictable. And they like this. All right. There's something very spicy about you, your personality and, you know, the feeling that you give other people when you are connected to them. And this person or somebody around you, um, could even be a workplace group or whatever. Somebody feels like you brought excitement into the workplace or you brought excitement into the circle. Um, innovative ways of doing things because you're passionate about certain things and uh, other people may lack that passion that you have, Pisces. So when you give your advice or you have a great idea and you share it, a lot of people are going to be wowed by that. Like, I feel like you don't know how beneficial you could be to a group of people, okay, or to someone, okay? Um, be wary of anyone coming in really quickly, um, anyone ignoring your messages or leaving you on red or um, uh, canceling dates on you and stuff or canceling, saying like, oh, I'm going to call you back, never call you back. Um, it's somebody very unpredictable that could be coming back towards you or this could be a new person. But I wouldn't trust them uh, for what they say. Like, let them prove and show because somebody says a lot, but they don't really follow through. And they're just very unpredictable. Okay. So be wary of anyone coming in, not wanting to stay, basically. All right. What else does Pisces need to know? All right. It's time to focus. Yep. Pisces. It's time to focus on your money here. It's time to focus on your security. Um, you are up leveling queen of pentacles. So, you know, nine of pentacles in the reverse, but you're going to end up being the queen of pentacles. So whatever, you know, whatever situations ended in your workplace, or if you felt like, damn, I'm not really on top of my finances or on top of my career, that's all going to subside here with the queen of pentacles. You will get that payoff that you that you've been waiting for. Um, and you will get you will get some sort of monetary or tangible gift, all right? Something worth value. So some of you guys could be getting engaged too, 
okay? For some reason, I feel like a proposal or a wedding ring or something, all right? And then we got the Eight of Cups here. You're definitely emotionally disconnecting from people, places, and things that no longer serve you, but you're having a hard time... Um, like not reminiscing about that stuff, okay? So a lot of you guys just go back to the old memories, go back to the people that walked away from you. Like you guys mentally go back there often. And I think the advice here is, is that you finally do walk away for once and for all because I feel like emotionally, some of y'all have just been up and down um, in regards to the past and analyzing past relationships and past situations. And it's just, you know, it, it could be a bit overwhelming when you keep emotionally going back to something that you know not good for you. Even if you left the situation mentally, you you tend to go back and reminisce about those things. So um, somebody could have a hard time walking away from you as well. So if if you are emotionally distant from anyone, both of you guys are feeling the urge to come back towards each other. But the only thing that's stopping that is the bad memories of the past here, Six of Cups in the Reverse. All right, so somebody feels like, yeah, it's just too many bad memories. They, you can't go go backwards, okay? Um, and that's fine because there's so much good stuff in your future here, Pisces. Some of you guys are moving on to higher levels of commitment, engagement, and higher um, levels of status, okay? Yeah, and I don't think you have time. Like, I don't think you're going to be giving um, too much of your resources to people. Right now, everything that you have is for yourself, okay, or for your family. So... You're not that overextending, overgiving person. Oh, my bad, y'all. I think I'm hitting the microphone. Um, you're not that overextending, overgiving person that you used to be, okay? And that's not a bad thing. It's just you have learned to, you know, value people enough before you give them all of you, okay? So it's just like everybody don't deserve that side of you, Pisces. All right. So, oh, Pisces, that was a doozy. I truly hope that these messages helped you. If you are interested in receiving your own Pisces guidance deck, the link is in the description box, okay? And if you already received a deck, um, like, in the past, just send me a screenshot of your receipt, and I will surely get you that 50% discount for your new deck, okay? So, until next time, y'all, love you. Bye.